Hey, welcome back to your live continuing coverage of CES 2018. Right here live in Las Vegas. We're on WTXX, WRTN, and everywhere else coming to you live. It is be terrific, and we're so excited to be an official media partner here. Apple TV, Roku, Android TV. We've got Amazon Fire. Don't forget about Cumulus stations across the nation on their websites, Facebook. We've also got Twitch, be terrific. Twitch. It's twitch.tv slash be terrific. Also, don't forget that you can uh, check us out on be terrific.com. You can take the iOS or Android app on the road with you. It's just endless. We're everywhere you want to be, not to steal a line from MasterCard or Visa or whoever used that. But we've got so much new programming coming out in the next few weeks. It's going to be unbelievable. We're building out two new studios. You're not going to want to miss a moment, so keep it locked to be terrific. Download the apps. We're having a lot of fun with you guys. We're having a lot of fun here at CES. We're proud to be an official media partner. We're on WABC, WPLJ, uh, Nash FM, and Radio 103.9. I've got Diane here from Scully. She's a Brazilian jiu-jitsu fighter <laughs> and also a little MMA. Competes in the Bra Brazilian jiu-jitsu and uh, also is a, a marketing rep for this company, Scully. Now, Scully's got a very innovative take on the motorcycle helmet, and that's why I wanted to have you on. Uh, this is uh, a motorcycle helmet with a heads-up display so that the mm -hmm. visor will show you your navigation, your speed, some other key stats. It will also show you what's behind you, so it'll give you a rear-view mirror because there's a camera mounted right on the back of the helmet. Very innovative, very good design, very mm -hmm. important because motorcycles can be fun, but they can also quite often be dangerous. And the more information you can have as a motorcyclist without having to take your eyes off the road for a split second is very important. You know, it's not only it's not always the motorcyclist's fault. It's oftentimes the motor the other motorist's faults, mm. but it's the motorcyclist who gets hurt. Exactly. We're very excited that we're able to bring the product to market. We're going to be shipping in the summer, and we have a carbon fiber option, which we're looking at and on display here for some time in 2018. I wore it the other night at CES Unveiled. I wanted to show it to all the viewers today. Mm -hmm. um, I like that it's a carbon fiber. It shaves a little bit of weight. I likened it to wearing a football helmet when I was in high school, which uh, back then I think they were a lot heavier and certainly more cumbersome. Um, it's padded like a motorcycle helmet. Mm -hmm. feels a lot like it. And it's about the same weight, maybe a little bit heavier. Um, I imagine shaving the weight with carbon fiber is very important. Absolutely. I mean, anytime, especially for the long riders, anytime you can decrease the weight, it's going to be a more enjoyable ride and a little bit more comfort. Now, do you, uh, do you, um, when you, when you, when you think about this, do you think that there's any safety features in here from a visual standpoint that I haven't mentioned? Um, because. Obviously, the protection is the protection, and helmets mm -hmm. are, are important, but this uh, incorporates some other technology. Absolutely. Well, as you, you talked about the rear view camera, so that gives you 180 degree, so you don't have any blind spots. And then, of course, your front view, so you have 360 awareness. And then in the heads-up display, you'll get to see your navigation, calls, and music. So those are all via um, voice control. Very nice. And, and do you see this being used in other applications like skiers? Now, I would think uh, uh, ski goggles would be very hard to do this in, but I would have thought it would have been very hard to do this in a motorcycle helmet. Because if you notice, here is the element right here. And, and that's right up against the visor. You're absolutely right. And that's something that we are looking at. We're not just a helmet manufacturer. We are wearable tech gear. And that's something that we want to do going forward for different products, for different applications. Yeah, um, I think that that's going to be really, really key. Mm -hmm. I, I can think of all sorts of applications you can use this for. I actually would like a heads-up display right here on set so I could read the show notes and the comments from the chat room mm -hmm. right here, uh, somehow on my glasses or goggles or something uh, without having to look off camera or anything like that. Um, but I think it's so important, and I don't think people realize enough how important it is for a driver. And a lot of times, you know, let's be honest, 60 miles an hour is very fast. Guys driving faster, gals driving faster than that. This could be very helpful. A split second is, that's a split second, and that's taking your eyes off the road. So I, I think that's very important. When Absolutely is this available? Right. Um, we're going to be shipping the Phoenix AR this summer, 
and we're going to be shipping it in concert with our Make It Right campaign, which is uh, we are honoring the original contributors to Scully Inc. And Scully Inc. was the original company. Scully Technologies acquired the assets, patents, and trademarks of Scully Inc. They had raised um, two and a half million dollars wow. on Indiegogo. It was the largest crowdfunded campaign at the time. And then they also, this was the original Scully Inc. Right. And they also did pre-orders. And then the company was not able to bring it to mass production. Got it, so they got so, acquired. We acquired the company, kept the Scully brand because of the strength of the brand and the product that we believed in, and then now we're bringing it to market. And we wanted to understand that there were these thousands of contributors that weren't able to get a helmet. So it was important to us that we made it right with those original contributors. So we're honoring their contributions and we're gonna deliver them a helmet. Wow, that's a wonderful crowdfunding mm -hmm. story. Usually you hear, yeah. well, you know, we didn't ever get that helmet we paid for. Uh, so I'm glad to hear that. Yeah. Um, I'm going to tell you what, before I let you go, mm -hmm. the viewers are asking in the Twitch chat to see the inside of the helmet. So yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to give them an up close and personal look. Uh, you've been great. She's Diane. Mm -hmm. I'm Michael. Which camera, Dave? This one here. Let's get the focus. This is what the inside of the helmet looks like. Dave, you tell me when you get the shot and then I'll hold it for a few seconds and flip it over. Dave, you, you've, uh, like that, that's how we would do it. Do it. That's how we do it. You want to show it like that? Or well, I just it's hard to see it inside. You only see the technology inside. So if I do it this way, you can see the heads-up display right there. The heads-up display. Right the heads-up display. Heads display unit. Mm -hmm. It's hard to... You have your... I'm going to try that way. You know, it's a nice helmet, I think. I, I don't know. I don't ride motorcycles. What do you think? You ride bikes. I want this so bad. I have no <laughs> idea. I told her I'm going to run off with it until I found a Brazilian <laughs> MMA fighter. And I don't think I'm going to touch it from now. You know, it is pretty awesome, and i got to tell you, it's uh, it's a good-looking helmet on top of it, but it's about safety. Dave, you're uh, – that's the camera in the back you're showing off. You know, Dave, you're also, uh, you know, uh, a guy who uh, rides uh, fire trucks and stuff, and sometimes you have to scrape people up, so it's really important. Oh, yeah, I mean – I sold my motorcycle after uh, about a bad summer of scraping some guys off the road, so yeah. It is a very cool helmet. How much are these going for? Um, we are looking at 1899 MSRP, and uh, we're continuing to look at, again, new features for future models. And, and then eventually the price will probably come down. What's a regular motorcycle helmet cost? About 600, 700 bucks, I think? Exactly, and it really depends on what kind of features and the brands that you're looking at, but for something that uh, you really want to get uh, for protection, yeah, you're looking at. So it's not that much more to have all these safety features, and really safety is the most important thing. And you so. think about the technology. The technology is what's driving the safety component. It's a safety product, and of course it's also beautiful, and it has great um, an enjoyment factor to the ride that it adds, so when you can voice command calling and music scully uh music up scully music down scully call diane uh the those features that allow you to keep your eyes on the road and your hands on the handlebars are really important wow very cool when did you start training in brazilian jiu-jitsu <sighs> that was just a year ago <laughs> and how about mma um, about five years on and off. Really? Mm -hmm. You really get into the ring? <laughs> the, the, the octagon? I, I don't. Um, I've never fought MMA yeah. in the octagon, uh, but Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. So I'm more on the mats than I am in the cage. Wow. <laughs> That's pretty unbelievable. Thank you so much for sharing mm -hmm. uh, the Scully story and your story with us. Great. Good luck the rest of the show. Thanks. That was pretty cool. Mm -hmm. We have more cool stuff coming up. Don't go anywhere. Live from CES 2018, this is Be Terrific. <laughs>